Welcome back guys, we're going to extend the dock and we're going to keep extending it and we're going to keep adding on buildings and this is going to become like a fairly, I hope this is going to become like a fairly big uh, like part of the town. So let's extend these two again. Boom. And yes, I'm going to keep it too wide and I think it w too wide kind of works because if you, if you look at these um, these little things that stick out you want it too wide, otherwise they would uh, they would actually clash, which would not be a good thing. So we'll keep that going. Now, I said before, the way I want this to work is that um, I want this to, to come out here. Oh, and they've already done those. I want this to come out here and then go up here and then go across and hook on somewhere over here. So we're going to have like, we're going to have a dock side along here, a key side. And then we'll have this coming out and meeting this. And I don't know, th this might be end up being like a square in the middle or something. I don't, I don't know. Oh, I just put in another one because I keep, I keep turning this around. So, oh dear, oh dear, I got to stop doing that. Uh, there it is. Let's get rid of that one. Okay. Let's do that again. So what was I doing? I was going to here and we want to put in another, that one and that one. There we go. How's the food? Two and a half out. Oh, we've got a guy coming in, merchant. Uh, let's come into this one. We'll, we'll probably instantly dismiss him, but we'll see. So what have you got? Trade. Oh, he's got horses. See this guy, see how Fucking annoying is that? Uh, now we've only got like 300 beeswax, 200 can. Uh, mind you, 200 candles would buy us a couple of horses. Oh, do we take a couple of horses? Oh, horses is really tempting. Oh, come on. It's really, really tempting. I think we take a couple of horses. All right. We'll take a couple of horses. Okay, trade. Done. Okay, now let's pause this because I'm going to have to like, actually set this up. Um, while we're doing it, do, what do I do with this guy? Like, do I get these um, this grape seed or do I kind of not worry about it at the moment? I, t I mean, I probably should get the damn grape seed, shouldn't I? So, only three and a half thousand. Why haven't I got more survival coats? Okay, that's weird. Why haven't I got... Oh, because for some reason... Oh, no, I have cranked it up. So there you go. So we've got 200. Yeah. I could probably crank up the candles, couldn't I? Yeah, I probably could. Oh, and pearls. How much pearls trade for? I don't know. But let's let's crank up 100 pearls as well. Because we've got a few lying around. Might as well use the damn things. Uh, is there anything else that we could use that would be good? Yeah, kind of not really. Let's crank up the candles then. Let's crank it up to like 400. I think we've got quite a lot of candles lying around. Um, okay, you can just like stay there for now. So let's minimise you. Okay. Um, so we, we could, we've now got horses that we need to deal with. Um, so, oh my God, where are we going to put our horses? Where on earth are we going to put the horses? Um, we could have some. We could have like a horse thing going on over here, couldn't we? Wouldn't, wouldn't necessarily be too out of place having some horses just over here. Yeah, let's do so. Let's do that. Let's do. It. Let's just. I, all I want to do is just get them out and get them like starting to breed, and then we can like actually worry about them later. So we want. Uh, let's see. We want pastures, don't we? Uh, let's see. Uh, fenceless pasture. Do I want a fenceless pasture or do I want a fenced pasture? Slope conforming pasture. Nope. Uh, a bear pasture. A fenceless pasture with no animal shelter attached. Oh. There's all this cool stuff, isn't there? This is the, um, the regular animal pens. Wool pen. An animal pen that creates wool and occasional leather. What the hell is that? Okay, that's new. I, I didn't know about these. Egg pen. Ew. Okay. All right. Um, transparent fields, food refining, transparent fields. This is, 
this this sandwich they've got like tin canned foods they've got canneries and stuff i don't know what these animal pens are milk pen weird okay standard pasture let's just crank up a standard pasture and just like get this done because otherwise i'll be here for, <laughs> for forever let's put in just like um what should we put in like just a, like a 10 by 10 just to kind of get it going or should i put in something bigger yeah, and in fact, I'm going to put it this side. How big is that? That's... Oh, that's 10. Well, we could put it in a 20 by 10, which is like our standard size. Uh, do I turn it round like that? Yeah, I probably do. All right, so let's put... Um, that's put that, put that pasture in. Let's let that, let that get built. Can you hear my, my voice is really struggling now? Ay, ay, ay. I'm gonna have to take it. I'm gonna have to take it a little bit easy so I don't lose my voice. We're up to we're over three thousand food, so this is starting to work out now, which is kind of good. We've got pearls and reeds in here. All the food is getting sucked out like pretty much instantaneously. But they are putting it. They are, they are putting the fish in here, along with the mussels and the oysters. So this is going to be a fairly efficient operation. But we could use another house. We've only got one occupant in that house. Really? You're a dredger. You're a student. Now, hang on a second. We should have... Uh, we should have a good ratio of homes and families. Yeah, why is there a 16-year-old a, a living on their own? That's kind of weird. Huh. Let's just check out the pathing and see where people are living. Uh, where, uh, where do I want to go? Pathing, here's pathing. Let's just check out the pathing and see where these people are living. So, where, where are the fishermen living? They're living all over the place. Like, what the hell? You're living there, which is kind of like semi-reasonable. That's good. That, that's okay. You should be living there. Right? But, like, hmm. I guess over time, they will, uh, now, like, what the hell's happened there? You, you, okay, the people, the person who's living there is working over here. That's kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy. Okay, well, people will move around. It does take them a while to adapt to like when you build new buildings and stuff. So I shouldn't worry about it like too much. We're up to four and a half thousand food, so we're getting back on track. That's going nicely. Let's get some more of this built, shall we? Uh, what do I want? Themed sets and this, and continue the dock. Now, what are the dock, like dock pieces have we got? That's the key to wall dock connector. So, so like we could have put like that as the first bit if we'd wanted to, but to be honest, I didn't want to. Put in little, little kind of uh, roads going out to the sides and putting stuff on. But I, again, I don't want to go too crazy with this. I'll go a little bit crazy with it, but I'm not going to go like too crazy with it. Or well, I'd like to not go too crazy with it. Okay, they've done the next bit, so let's, um, I think we'll probably, I think we'll go, yeah, we'll just, I think we'll just keep going for a while, actually, so we'll have that there, that there, now, is there any chance that I could actually put two in at one time, that's got to be there, hasn't it, yeah, so there, and there, the next one would be there and there. Oh my god, I've actually put three in at one time. Oh my god, wonders will never cease. We're rocketing along. Let's have a check on this and see if this guy's actually got what we need yet. Uh, we've got not that much more than we had before. I don't think we've got anywhere near. Let's, um, let's just check. Uh, oh, no, we have got enough now. Okay, well, I'm surprised. 
I, I think it was moving the survival cuts I hadn't taken into consideration. Okay, so we only need like three and a half thousand, so let's crank down, I guess, the survival cuts. So, three, nine, three, uh, crank down a few candles. No, oh, let's crank down some beeswax then. Oh! Original six. Six, boom. Okay, let's trade that. All right, we've got grape seeds. And obviously, having spent all that time messing around buying the grape seeds, obviously I won't actually use the grape seeds for about... for a lot of years. Oh, now the horses are going to die if I don't do something about them. So we need to get those horses moved out to their pasture. Has their pasture been built yet? Where did I put it? I put it over here. Here we go. Right, so horses... Let's get the horses allocated. Horses, boom. Ha 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 ha. Let's get one guy looking after this. We only need one. So, are these amphibious horses? Of course they are. But they, they might go across the bridge. There is the outside possibility that they might walk across the bridge, but I can't see it personally. I don't know how to swim. Now, we've got to wait for the guy to come. The, um, the herdsman to come over and collect the horses. I've got to say, these horses do look good though, don't they? I think the, the texture for these horses is just awesome. Do they still walk funny? Because in 1.4, the horses walked really, really funny. And I, I've got a sneaky suspicion they'll probably walk forward funny in this, but we'll see. Uh, are you are you the... No, uh, uh, where's the herdsman? Are you, are you the herdsman? Uh, oh, no, no. Are, are you the herd? Oh, no, no, apparently not. Come on, come and get the horses. Are you, are, are you, the, are you the herdsman? No, no, you're not. Okay. Never mind. What about these? Are, oh, oh are, are you the? Oh no! Oh look! No! What? Oh look! There we go. Told you they were aquatic horses. Good job. Are they walking on the water? Oh my God! They're Jesus horses. They can walk on water. Well, I thought aquatic animals were good, but that's just staggeringly awesome. Yeah, that's it. Get in your pasture. Yes. No, they, they, immediately. Immediately straight got his nose in the trough. Good horsey. Right, you breed. Make me loads of stuff. Good, good, good. I think they, I think they bring in um, leather as well as meat horses. I'm not sure. I need to jump check on that. Right, um, that apothecary. I should probably do something about that at some point. But I can now, because I've got the seeds. We can actually get some wine made. And then we'd actually have what we need. Glassware we've got. Roots, yeah, we're getting those from the gatherers. And uh, and then we'd have wine. So, yeah, I should, probably should get on and do that at some point. It's just a question of deciding, like, where are we going to have, like, the vineyards and stuff. I mean, we, I could... I could pop in a vineyard, like somewhere over here or something. Don't know. Right. Um, how many people have we got? Labourers. Well, we're up to ten labourers. So, do I do some more, like, chopping down and stuff like that? Now, they are coming out here and they are getting this stuff. But they're coming and getting it, like, so slowly. Now, are they, when, when you're chopping stuff down and carrying it, are you going and putting it on this stockpile? That's the question. Yes, you are. Good. But then, you're going off again, aren't you? And that's the problem. They're not getting a lot done because they're having to like walk so far over here. So I think what we need, really, are some, uh, maybe some houses over here. So... Should we put in some houses? Let's put in some houses. What the hell? We'll try and stimulate a little bit of growth. Um, yeah, we've got loads of people. Yeah, we loads of kids and stuff like that. Good. All right. What are we up to now? We're up to like 122 people. Good grief. I need to keep an eye on the food, though. The food is kind of going up and down a little bit. Okay, whatever. Uh, right, let's uh, let's put in some more houses. I'm, st I'm sticking with the wooden houses for now, and we'll do like a... Because we've got loads of logs. And we'll do like a big upgrade to the to the posh houses at some point. So I'm thinking we just put in like, I don't know, like one, two, 
Yeah, do I put a third one in? Yeah, let's put a third one in. And I'm thinking that maybe we have we maybe we give them like a backyard or something and then just have like some more houses. One, two, three along there. So and I'm gonna put some roads in so they can actually get around and stuff. So let's see, brick road. Right, so let's put a brick road. Oh, okay, well I kind of screwed up that road, but that's okay. I don't mind that too much. Let's put that lot there. Because, like, villages are not laid out, ex like, absolutely, precisely correctly. They're all a bit of a mishmosh. Yeah, let's put a road across the, there. Yeah, am I going to put one across the back as well? Ah, uh, no I'm not. No I'm not. I'm going to have one across there, but I'm not going to have one across there. And then we're going to put in a stockpile across the back here. Alright, cool. So we've got loads and loads of stockpile space. We'll put in a bit more, uh, we'll put in a bit more road. Just to make it look nice. So we'll have that there and there. And this bit of road there, a uh, bit of road there. Cool. Excellent. All right. Good job. Ah, we've got a trader coming in. Who's going to have nothing? Of, no, no, nothing useful. Goodbye. Go away. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? I'm kind of looking at these people and seeing if they're actually get, getting stuff done. The thing is, like, you, you can see the stuff that was marked for them to collect. But there's like there's a whole bunch of new stuff that's grown, <laughs> which is yeah, a bit crazy. Uh, so let's uh, should we should we tell them to get that? I don't know whether I don't even know whether it's a good idea or not. Yeah, let's, let's tell them to gather all the new stuff as well. There you go, grab all of that. It's a source of food. Now when these houses get built. I'm hoping that um, there's going to be some labourers work living in those houses, so that they'll be they'll be a bit quicker about doing their stuff. But we'll kind of see. Sheep, yes, that's what I wanted. Well, I wanted chickens, but I do like sheep. I've got now, not like that. Stop it. So yeah, I'm thinking we get some sheep. Uh, the thing is, I don't know. Like, do I want to do sheep right now? Ah, uh, I kind of, I kind of didn't really want to. I'm, I'm going to do it anyway, though. Uh, how many sheep can I afford? Let's um, let's see how many sheep could I afford. What the hell? Um, two thousand. We could afford. We could afford like three sheep. We could afford three sheep. Ooh, how tempting is that? Uh, what's that? Bring it down by. I was paying by 164. Let's do it. Let's use the candles. Uh, I was paying by 44. I was paying by 4. That'll do. Yeah, I, am I going to knock this down? Yeah, I suppose I will, because otherwise you guys will complain. You do complain a lot, guys, I'm telling you. Uh, so, yeah, let's trade that. So, we've got three sheep. So now we're going to need a pass, uh, uh, a passport. <laughs> what, what the hell? A pasture for uh, for these sheep. Now where are we going to put them? I must admit I'm kind of tempted to put them over here, and I don't know why. I just feel an urge to do it. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to put going to put in a pasture over here. Uh, what the hell am I looking for? Uh, food and standard pasture. Uh, I, I'm just going to put in a, like a standard pasture over here. So, 10 by, well, 10 by 20. And I'm going to flip that around so that's there. And boom. Cool. Get that built, guys. Alrighty. So, we've got sheep. We've got a whole docks area that's coming along very nicely and is going to extend. And we're going to have, like, a, I think maybe a bit of a square in the middle. And then there'll be another kind of thing like this uh, connecting over here. And we're going to have ships and... All kinds of lovely quayside buildings, and it's going to be super sexy and awesome. So come back for the next episode, guys. Peace out.